Hello everybody, a very warm welcome back to the Mech Tech Garage. Another week has gone flying by and obviously I've been working furiously on the Puma to try and get things moving and back together now. It doesn't look like I've done anything from here. The door is still sitting in front of you and obviously the car is still in bits, but I have been working underneath to try and get the underside and everything all buttoned up and back together. So without further ado, let's get into the action and I'll show you exactly what I've been up to. I thought I'd better do a little cutting after the uh, work that's been going on. We've got the brackets up there, whoops, all rubbed down and painted. They're all dry now, ready to go on. I've just got to make sure I don't unhook that from under that box because it's because it's counterweight, so that can stay there for a minute. There we go, so they're all done. Um, going up here, as you would have seen, the spare wheel carrier is now all been repainted and done. Now, as you can see it's pretty heavily pitted and there is a few areas on it that are seen better days and it could do with a new one really but um, the structural part of it which is these rods which run right the way down the back 
are absolutely fine. So um, I'm going to go with that for now. It's protected now at least, so that's hopefully should last a bit longer until I manage to find a new one. So that's all good. But you would have also seen that I smoothed off all these edges on this corner around here now. I had to cut this section out years and years ago when I fitted the tow bar because otherwise it hits on the corner of the tow bar and I wasn't quite as good with an angle grinder as I am now so I've smoothed all that off of the flat disc all the edges are nice and smooth now I've smoothed all this off as well so that is all looking really really good axle sitting there waiting patiently to go back in and underneath I've now done three coats of paint which I think you'll agree looks I wish this light wouldn't do this there we go um, I think you'll agree it looks pretty damn good under there now I'm pretty pleased with that and I've also done under the wheel arch as well so that's all been done that's had two coats so now I'm going to give it a coat of satin lacquer just to give it a bit of extra protection and obviously I don't want it to be too shiny under there so I just want it to be sort of looking tidy which it does I've repaired the rib nut just here that's all done and put back in so when I've done the satin lacquer the black plastic not plastic the black metal strip can go back on there um, I've also painted that I'll show you that when I put it back on and then we can start hopefully getting this thing back together again now I really don't want to put that monkey shop shock absorber back on this side so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet whether I'm gonna give it a quick clean up and paint with some satin black or something like that just to make it look a bit tidier maybe for now it could probably do with new rear shocks and probably with well, their eye back lowering springs but they're very old they've probably been on the car 15 odd years so we may be in for some new suspension at some point but that is going to be down the line so it's uh it's looking good so hopefully now we can actually start getting this going back together again i've done a little bit more rubbing down on the um corners here i've got that very very smooth now and now it does want a little skim over the top of it again same with that end, if I zoom in there, you can see that end's all been smoothed off, but it does need a little bit more on top as well. So this filler work is coming along. Obviously, I wanted to get these bits rubbed down before I put any more filler on my arch. But I'm going to obviously get another layer on there for that. And uh, hopefully we should be getting somewhere near it with that too then. So let's get this uh, satin knacker under here, get that all protected. And my aim is really to get obviously that done and then get things going back on the car again so I can actually start getting it back in one piece again um, because otherwise it's going to be a world of pain if I do end up getting a moving date which is looking like it might be hopefully coming up um, it's going to be a mad panic so I need to get it back together again and then I can concentrate on the filler work after I've got it back together that is the plan I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet as you can see the backs of the drums are I'm trying to show you it without getting lines on the screen let me show you this one here I've got this one resting on top of a on top of me uh, power lead at the moment hang on a second there we go as you can see they're pretty crusty on the back same as what the axle was so I'm going to possibly try and run an eagle skater over them and clean them up in situ so that I haven't got to take anything apart I've got new clips coming for the handbrake cable now as well which is these white ones up here that snapped I've got new ones of those coming I found a guy online who's uh, got some of those there he's got them listed as XR3 I but he kindly measured them all up for me and they are the same size so I'm gonna get some new ones of those and I need to give that handbrake cable a clean up as well and maybe give it a coat of silver or something like that just so it looks half decent again um, I know all these little things aren't a necessity but I just hate putting manky stuff back on when it, the boot floor looks as good as that. So, <laughs> right, let's um, let's get this lacquer on and uh, then we'll go from there.
Righty ho, a little update time. As you would have seen, I've painted the backs of the rear drums and that little section of handbrake cable just down to the plastic sheath. I've done that on both of them, as you can see. There's the other one just there, sitting there drawing. And off camera, I have done a few little jobs. I've got my new brake clips up there, with the brake pipe all clipped in, lovely. I've straightened it all out as best as I possibly can. I've got new handbrake clips coming, as I said previously. I've confirmed they're the right ones now. They are en route, so they're going to be here soon. I've got that plastic bracket back up there, which holds on the ABS loom once the axle's back in. I've also got that bar up that the spare wheel sits against. I've painted that as well. Uh, I've got the fuel pipes back in and screwed in. Clamps back on the pipes there. I've got a new screw in that because it was absolutely rusted to bits so I put a nice torque screw in there and I put a new clip for it as well because the clip fell apart as I took it out so I found a new one of those that was handy so we are really progressing now so next thing I'm going to do I'll just show you hang on a second let me get up underneath the car I'm not as young as I used to be and it takes a little bit longer plus the fact the garage is covered in rubbish and I need to cover a clear out anyway as you can see out here now I've got the spare wheel out here now I have already gone over that with a needle scaler to get the, the heavy stuff off. I'm going to go over it with the grinder in with a wire brush in a second. I've got the shock absorber out here. I'm not going to go mad on the shock absorber because I think obviously looking at it they are quite old and a little bit past it. So I'm just going to clean it up, give it, make it look tidy, probably just give it a coat of satin black. Um, same with the backs of those brake drums I just showed you. I didn't go too mad on them because I would like to do a rear brake disc conversion on the Puma at some point in time so I haven't gone too mental on cleaning them up absolutely mint they're just presentable and tidy I need to get this arch liner jet washed so that can be drying ready to go back in um, and then once those drums are dry we can actually get the axle back in so it's going to be really really good so I'm going to get the uh, wire brush going on these get all these cleaned up coat the satin black on the wheel and on the shock absorber and leave them as they are just so that they're tidy, obviously you don't use a spare wheel all the time, but when you do use it, you don't want it to look like that. So <laughs> let's uh, get these cleaned up and then I'll come back to it in a minute. Right, there is a spare wheel all refurbed now it isn't absolutely perfect but it is a lot more presentable than it was before it hasn't got rust scabs all over it anymore so if you do need to use a spare obviously it will look a lot better i'm going to give that tire a good old clean up give it a coat of the old uh, armor all tire foam just to get it a bit uh, blacker again so it matches the wheel again so it's not a brown tire and a black wheel and that should be good to go back in so i'm pretty pleased with the way that's come out let's uh, carry on right next job is going to be sorting out this bumper that's melted from the exhaust um so what i'm basically going to do is i'm going to draw some sort of a shape on here um cut it out and uh, hopefully we'll have no more problems because obviously it won't be there to rub so um i don't want to go too far near the edge because obviously you'll see it so i'm going to go probably about there i reckon and i'm going to do a sort of a, <laughs> a makeshift curve obviously I can cut it 
initially and then I can always shape it a little bit if I'm not happy with the shape of it but I'm just following basically where it's burnt but slightly bigger and it does rub down here anyway so if I go a little bit lower there get rid of all that go straight across there I reckon something like that That one's a bit of a curve this end. If I cut that out, then that should do it. I'm gonna use the um gonna use the air saw for this. I don't think there's much behind it. Throwing this last words. <laughs> if I go use the, just the end of it. Whatever I do, it's gonna be better than it rubbing like that in it. So should cut fairly easy, it's gonna be a bit noisy this. Lucky didn't touch the bumper. It's gonna be a bit wobbly this, but I'm gonna say go over it with a little belt sand or sank after. some sort of reinforcer inside there so I might have to go from the other end and meet in the middle. Tricky keeping this in a straight line, not gonna lie. I think I might do is cut it um, under and then use the belt center to get it to where I want it to be because otherwise I might mess it up and I don't want to do that. Do that. Um, hmm. Maybe I might have to go around the edge. See. At least I can see what's behind it now, which is not a lot, so that's all right. Um, and as I say, what I'll use a, a belt sander to get the, the majority of this out. I'll just carry on from now. Like that. There we go. And I'll use the belt sander or the grinder to get the rest of it out. It looks a bit messy at the moment, I know, but it's. Just, not going to look like that once I've finished it, it's going to look nice and smooth hopefully, so let me grab um, a belt sander and a grinder and we'll give it a little smooth up. Right, there we go with that all cut out and looking fairly neat. I think you'll agree that looks all right. I don't think you're even going to see it. Well, you won't even see it once the exhaust's on because obviously the exhaust was pushing up against that before and you didn't see the burnt bit, so I ain't worried about that. So that is really, really good. Hopefully that's a, another problem cured. I really wish the rest of the body under body looked as good as this back bit does because that looks absolutely mega. I really want to take that fuel tank out and carry on going, but I can't at the moment, so it is what it is, unfortunately. So uh, let's... Um, I think we're going to get the exhaust back in next because that will be easier to get in than it will with when once the uh, rear axle's in. So we'll get that centre section back on. Um, that's another part back on the car then at least. And uh, then obviously uh, we can look at maybe getting the uh, axle back in. That's another big bit back on the car then and hopefully I'll be having a 
bit of a clearer garage. I've had a massive tidy up. Not that you can probably tell, but I have had a massive tidy up. So there we go. Top and on, let's carry on. Radio, the exhaust is now all in and fitted and solid. That is all good. I've polished the end before I put it in there to get all the manky plastic off the top of it that had all melted all over it. So now we're on to the stage of getting this axle in. It's held on with four bolts on either end. They're the bits I'm going to get in first. And then we can obviously get the uh, shock absorbers hooked up. I haven't put this side shock absorber back in yet, but obviously once it's sort of hanging now, I can put that in whenever. So that should be okay, hopefully. Actually looks like this axle is starting to rust again already. That's crazy, isn't it? Oh well. Um, I can't do anything about that now. If in the future it needs doing again, then I'll have to get it off and get it blasted and powder coated or whatever. But for now, it's, uh, it's good enough. So let's get this fitted in and uh, hopefully we'll have somewhere to put some wheels back on in a minute. Radio, I stopped the time lapse earlier on because, as you would have seen, I was having trouble getting this side to bolt up. Now, where I've repaired the inner, inner um, chassis leg here, it is slightly further in than it was originally. So what I've done is I've modified my bracket and I've actually shaved a bit off of that corner there, not that you'd really notice it. And now that does fit in there okay. So well, I'm going to get this put back onto the axle beam. You would have noticed as well in the time lapse that I actually had the brackets on and around the wrong way. <laughs> I thought I had the holes because obviously you can see the holes are wider at the top now at the bottom. I thought I had them around the right way, but I didn't. So let's um, get this bolted back on to the uh, axle beam. That side's hanging over there you can see and I've bolted the drum back on it the shock absorber's not on it yet but it's getting there if I can get this side bolted up now then I can get the drum back on this side and get the shock absorbers on and then we will have a complete axle back in the car again so let's get this done and I'll come back to you in a minute right there we go there is our complete rear axle back in with shock absorbers now I haven't gone too mental on this shock absorber or spring actually really surprised how well that spring came up with a wire brush so I'm probably going to get those taken off once we're in our new place and getting powder coated which is why I haven't gone too mad on refurbing them this time around um, that's probably the the main um, sort of theme of this job at the moment is I'm doing as much as I can properly but there's certain bits that I really want to take my time and get done that I can't do at the moment so there's certain bits that I've sort of not skipped over as such but just done 
not quite as good as maybe I could have done just because I want to take it back off and revisit it again once I can you know if that makes sense so things like the axle the axle looks really good but in places there's a few little bits that are maybe the paint is a little bit thinner than I'd like it to be um, so maybe in the future I'll get it taken off and I'll get it uh, powder coated but for now obviously bearing in mind that this is going to be back on the road as a daily driver as such and using for towing and things like that it is a massive improvement on what it was to show you underneath obviously got all the exhaust in there you would have seen all that that's all done the bumpers all cut shock absorber on the other side it hasn't been refurbed but it's just been bolted back on for now I haven't done anything in that other wheel arch apart from the back of that rear drum over there as you can see I've got uh, spacers and everything back in the back here you can see the little silver bits in between there they are 10 mil spacers and they they came I forget what company they come from now but they've got a Ford stamp on as I say they're the same basically the same thing as what they fit on the Sport KA to make the track a little bit wider at the back um, so yeah all the ABS is all plugged back in the looms all back on there it is looking really really good. I haven't got sorry I didn't finish what I was saying before I started the next bit then it's looking really really good I haven't got the spare wheel or the cage in there yet obviously because the car is still resting on that tow bar at the back at the moment um, maybe I'll get it jacked up on the on the axle and then I can get the uh, spare wheel and the carrier back in there again I've got to do a little quick refurb on the bracket that winds the uh, cage up and down it is a little bit rusty um, before I put that back in I want to just give that a little clean up maybe a quick coat of paint but for the most part that is the underside of the back here at least all back together and complete now I haven't painted down the seal yet um, you can see that in the light over there it's still grey up that end um, there you go you can just about see it there so I do need to paint that yellow um, but I want to give it one more coat of stone chip down that in first because I've only given it one coat so far and I want to get a slightly better finish the same as I did on the uh, boot floor where I did a couple of coats and it, and it built it up a little bit so I've left the heat shield off that goes above this silencer for now because that was all a bit manky and uh, I'm just trying to see if I can see it I can't see it but it's, it's all rotted where it's aluminium it's all just rotted around the bolt so I've left that off for now hopefully I'll be able to find a new one maybe online somewhere or a good second hand one somewhere um, so yeah that is the underside of the car the back end at least complete and back together I am if you look at it from under there pretty pleased with that that looks pretty good if only the rest of the uh, floor looked as good as that unfortunately it looks like that at the moment but in time it will hopefully all look as good as what that does there so there we go top banana right then that is going to be it for this episode on mech tech i must apologize for not time lapsing the last little bit of the axle going in after i had the issue with the bracket because by the time i'd got all those bits bolted on it was about half past three in the morning and i was pretty much out of energy i carried on during the day as you would have seen then i modified that bracket and painted it then i went to work and i come back out here again when i got back from work and carried on with it so i could finish the video for tonight so apologies for not time lapsing that last bit but that is the reason why okay in the next video now the underside is pretty much there i'm going to be concentrating on getting the filler work finished on the seal and the arch maybe getting some paint on the go that would be really good because as soon as i can get that done i'll get the door back on the wing back on and rebuild the rest of the car so that is the plan still no moving date yet but things are progressing in the old uh, moving side of things with slitters and whatever else so we have fingers crossed that we're going to get a date soon and obviously that could then put on mega amounts of pressure for me to get this done and all this stuff boxed up so that is why i'm and a mad thrash to get all this done ASAP. Now if you do like projects like the Puma, like the Freewood Van, like the Lotus, um, the Capri might be making an appearance on the video on the uh, video soon. Um, remember I've got the DeLorean and the Mark II Fiesta, Mark II Cavalier still sitting in Norfolk. I apologise to everyone who's been waiting for the Mark II Cavalier to carry on with. It is up in Norfolk and obviously it's a hundred and odd miles away and I haven't had any time whatsoever to get up there to work on it but it is still going to be done don't panic I've not left it for dead it is going to be repaired you know what me if you know me by now you know I don't like leaving cars for dead so that will be repaired don't panic 
Remember, I've got Instagram, mech underscore tech 1985, and I have got Facebook at the moment, still mech dash tech. It's still not under my control, unfortunately, for some weird reason, but it's still there and it still allows me to share things from Instagram to Facebook, so it's still there if you want to have a look. Um, and all it's left me to say is thank you very much for watching. And if you want to join me soon for more automotive adventures, I will see you again next time. Cheers, guys.